Ashley Byley. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Life and Curly Cues podcast with me, Eileen. Uh, today is another different episode. I wanted to just give everybody some updates as far as what's going on in my life and also what's kind of going on in the world, or I guess not necessarily the world, I mean still the world, but (laughs) also what's going on in the country, or at least kind of just more resources that y'all, that I have found that y'all could have access to as well. Um, But yeah, I'm sorry if you hear squeaking, I'm in a chair right now. And I'm nice and comfortable in my room and we're just hanging out guys. It has been a while. I think the last time I posted a podcast was actually a month ago. Um, my last episode was out on June 7th. So yeah, um, I hope you didn't miss me too much, but I've just been in a funk and just trying to figure things out and I think I'm getting back to it now. Um, This whole pandemic has really just affected how I just want to go about doing things because I can't really do things the way I want to go do things. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, As of right now, let's go ahead and jump into some personal life updates of mine. Um... Life update number one. So as I mentioned in many episodes prior, uh, quarantine made me download TikTok and I have been post, I'm still posting on TikTok, 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 TikTok. And I, uh, if you don't follow me or watch any of my videos, go check it out. It's Curly Headed Cutie Eileen, same as all my other social media handles. I may have mentioned this in some previous episodes that or if I didn't, now you're hearing it for the first time, but my goal for downloading TikTok was to have at least one of my videos to like go quote unquote viral and just get a whole bunch of views and stuff like that. Um, And that was just a goal. Once quarantine started and working from home started, that was the only thing I wanted to happen. I was filming videos and content for TikTok and nothing was blowing up until literally four days after my last episode on June 11th, I posted a video um, because there was this theme going, there was this trend going around uh, with the, one of the songs from the Guardians of the Galaxy, what? (laughs) With one of the songs from the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack and it was, it's, the trend is like people running past the camera portraying different characters in different scenarios and so I spent like a good 24 hours trying to come up with how I wanted to do this because I love this trend and so I decided to go about it as um, being Latina and growing up in a Latino household. So I made a video going along with that soundtrack and it's the Mr. Blue Sky song. And so I did Latino family, a Latino family leaving a party. Because if you are like me and you grew up with Hispanic family members, going to a party was an adventure. And so I created a TikTok. Now I, this is the first TikTok and only TikTok that I have ever actually written down a plan for and actually thought about it way before filming it. And I tell you, the effort I put into it came back to me with the success it had. So anyways, I did, um, like I said, Latino family leaving a party. And so my characters were, and this was all leaving the front door of my house. My characters were, uh, let's see here, the kid who didn't want to be there in the first place because, yep, the parent who says, let's go, but continues to talk And then there's the kid who ends up being in charge of carrying all the leftovers. And there's the kid who's waiting at the car for everyone to get in the car. The drunk parent. And then there's the kid who, because of the drunk parent, became the DD. And then there's also the kid who fell asleep waiting to leave the party since essentially the beginning. And then there's the the parent who was talking two hours later, finally making their way to the car. And so... I watch this, I watch this video, I'm so proud of it. I watch this video every day 
And it just baffles me. So yeah, I posted that on June 11th. And I was like, oh, this has got like, this is so relatable. It, it just has to be. It just has to, it has to make it. And I only use the hashtag, hashtag types of people and hashtag growing up Latino. And then my caption was Mira who can relate. I've been every kid at some point. And um, I would like to say that as of today, July 5th, my TikTok has 58.9k views and still growing because I keep getting notifications of people that are liking it. And then in again, in what <laughs> I can't talk in regards to likes, I have 17.5k likes and counting. Y'all, I made it. <laughs> Literally, as I have TikTok open right now, I just keep getting more likes for it. That was my goal for quarantine. I succeeded my goal. You know, I'm done. Okay. I had like 20 something followers before that video went up as of today. I mean, it's still a low count, you guys. Okay. It's still a very low count of followers, but it is a major increase compared to what I had started with. I have 178. <laughs> I have 178 followers. <laughs> Hey, that's more than the 20-something I had when I started TikTok, you know? Okay. <laughs> so anyways, that's the, that's my only viral, <laughs> viral TikTok. I, I just don't know how I could, like, beat that. And I've been posting a lot more, um, since I posted that one, trying to see kind of what is working. And so far, nothing's blowing up as big as that video. But it's still my, oh, I just hit 59k <laughs> views. <laughs> anyways that's my tiktok update i'm still on there um i this past week i was on it more and making more videos because i was working from home but once i get back to work like it's still gonna be every so often that i'll actually post a video but i mean I come up with ideas and I instantly record them that's lately what it's been and even though it's not you know a popular account or anything like that. I'm still very proud of what I do um, because it's funny to me. Okay, people? It's funny for me. Anyways, that is the biggest, like, happiest thing that's happened since I talked to you last was just having a TikTok of mine go viral. And it's just, it's been an adventure. I, like, went to sleep for, after doing that, posting that TikTok, I, like, went to sleep and then I woke up the next day to so many notifications from like views and likes and comments and people sharing like their own what what they've experienced. And I just think it's so funny. So, yeah, um, if you are on TikTok, check out my profile or my account profile, whatever my page, whatever um, at Curly Headed Cutie Eileen. But yeah, so that's been the fun thing. Um, I also, if you follow me on Instagram, I had posted back in May and I've talked about it quite a few times on my podcast. I was interested in going back to school for getting my master's degree. And in May, I posted a photo on my Instagram saying that it was official. I was going back to grad school and June 8th literally yeah right after the next the last episode I started my master's program I'm taking one class this summer and every I've planned it out to where like every semester I'll be doing one to two classes uh, I don't want to overwork myself and I want to actually like be invested in what I'm doing I don't want to breeze through it kind of like how I did with my undergrad degree I want to actually learn things and like and you know, have a good education, as some would say. <laughs> but yes, so anyways, I did start grad school. I am officially a month in. And I gotta say, I am loving it, especially the class I'm taking. So if you don't know, um, I'm getting my master's degree in education for natural science and environmental education. And it is something that has really, it's a topic that's really, I've become interested in since having my job working at a nature-based school and working in my previous positions at like SeaWorld and volunteering in different places and just seeing that aspect. So I'm in that program. The class I'm in right now is Environment and Society. And it's very interesting because we're looking at, of course, like the ethics of how the environment and 
kind of ties in with society and vice versa, society with the environment and how everything's affected. And it, I feel like it's a very, it's, I don't, it like worked out so, it just worked out to where I'm taking this class while all of this stuff is happening in the world right now. Um, because I am doing this program through Hamlin University, Hamlin, Hamline, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is a university that this pro complete, this entire master's program I'm in is completely online, which is what allows me to be a part of this while living in Texas. Um, but yeah, it's all the way up in Minnesota. And so since it's online, I actually get to hear a lot of the people in my class are from Minnesota, but we also have people from other states and other areas. And we get to share kind of what's happening in each other's area in regards to society and the environment. So I'm having a lot of fun with this class. I, as soon as I'm done posting this, I need to go do homework and all that stuff. Um, but that's another thing that's kind of leading into what's been going on with my podcast and why you haven't heard from me in a month. Um, grad school's kind of taken over everything. Um, coronavirus, of course, is still going on. It's still pretty relevant right now in the world. And I... I'm in grad school and so I go to work. I've been lucky enough to physically be going to work since May and as soon as I come home from work I go straight to doing my homework and the homework is like reading a bunch of articles which I was ready for grad school but I was not essentially ready for all the readings and everything that I have to do so it's a lot of trying to reprioritize my time and try to figure out like okay I'm going to do this then, I'm going to do that there, like, trying to just figure my shit out, figure my life out, you know, um, and just get back into the swing of things. I've been out of school for so long that I, like, forgot how to do things, I guess is how to say it, and so that's just where I've been at and what I'm leaning out about. Um, but anyways, in regards to this podcast and, again, why I've been gone for so long, um, coronavirus is still affecting how I want to record because I I miss being able to sit in front of somebody or sit next to somebody and just have a casual conversation about their adulting experiences and I can't do that because of coronavirus like I want to be safe for myself I want to be safe for my family I want to be safe for the other people I want to be respectful and that's just not sitting next to them is just not possible right now I mean there are people who would still do it, but I personally am someone who wants to try to be safe with how I'm going about in the world right now. And then, um, like the last time I, I talked with Jasenia back in May and that's cause I really needed to do something. And we took the precautions. We sat six feet apart. We wore our mask whenever we were within the six feet. Um, we took all the safety precautions and it's just, I really want to go back to the time where I we don't have to go about that, but now the world is so different that we have to do things like that. And so I miss being able to just talk and sit with people and just get to know their stories and hear their stories. And so right now I'm working on how to go about it differently. In some of my old episodes, what, like towards the beginning of Corona, you did hear me interviewing people through phone calls and that was, that worked beautifully like that was great but I still missed I think there was only one that I did on FaceTime and I was still trying to figure out the audio component and how to like record it to where it's still you could still understand what was coming from the other end so that's been what I've been figuring out um it still just feels really weird but of course it's something I have to get adjusted to while we're going through all of this craziness the other day I actually um played around with different ways to record the audio and see what sounded best and thank you so much to Jasenia for helping me out with that. I FaceTimed her and tried to see how I could go about recording future episodes while we're still going through this pandemic and I think I have a situ I have it situated to how I want to do it so I will be starting to plan again my episodes, find people to interview, and just going about it that way, I'm going to reach out to people. Um, if you are a close friend of mine, you'll probably hear from me at some point and kind of just go about that. And let's see here. Um, 
I also just haven't been motivated in a way to like record episodes lately and if I do want to record episodes it's like really last minute like I'm it's July 5th right now I'm recording July 5th I'm posting July 5th like that kind of thing and the reason I'm doing this episode is just because I wanted to update you guys and it's been so long since I've talked or said anything and I just want to you know it's everything's been busy Again, schoolwork taking over as soon as I get home and on the weekends and just trying to rebalance where everything fits in my life and just going about that. Um, But I do just, yeah, I'm ready to, I feel like I've said this multiple times in different episodes, but I'm ready to jump back in. And, you know, that's part of my personality. I like lose motivation, but then I get motivation, you know, that kind of thing. Um, But yeah that's where we're at. Um, anyways, since I am going about to kind of start planning this whole podcast again and reaching out to people, I need some help from you guys. Um, I, as you know, if you are an avid listener or if you're a new listener, hello, welcome to Life and Curly Cues. Um, at the end of all my interviews with people, whenever I ask, whenever we're talking about their adulting, we tackle the mug of questions and it's a mug filled with random, the randomest questions from deep to not deep at all questions that we pull, or I guess in this case, I would be pulling since I'm the only one actually here. But my mug of questions is a little empty right now. Uh, I currently have four questions in it. So if you are listening, I would love to have your help and you guys can email me. You guys can um, submit what (laughs) y'all can uh go to my dm send me some questions put it in the comments wherever you're listening and just yeah i need to refill this mug of questions and i need more random questions because i only have four and these four will only last me essentially the next person so yes if you are listening right now send me your questions for the mug of questions they can be random questions Um, Again, they can be really deep questions as you've listened in previous episodes, or they can be very bland as to like, I don't know, pop, which flavor popcorn you like, like anything like that. Um, Just send me, yeah, send me your questions so I can put them so we can ask them to future guests because I am going to start getting on that. Anyways, I don't know if about, that's kind of an update on what's been going on with me, what's been going on with the podcast and everything of that sort. Um... Another th- fun thing I want to mention to you guys is my friends who were guests before on this podcast. They were actually guests on episode 28. Uh, Dana and Sarah were amazing. We were talking, they were in the episode where we were talking about postponing a wedding during coronavirus craziness. Well, they just started a podcast. I'm very excited for them. I just finished listening to their first episode and I gotta say it was fun to listen to. I love the concept that they're doing and I can't wait to hear their future episodes. Their podcast is called Les Talk About It and every week they are going to talk about anything and everything. They'll have a different topic for the week and that's kind of what they'll talk about this week. Their first episode was talking about fireworks and the history of fireworks and their personal history with fireworks. And it was just really nice. It was good, like 40 minutes of just listening to fireworks, something I would have never thought to look research. And sure enough, they did it. Anyways, yeah, it's Les Talk About It. And right now it is just on Podbean, but I think they're working on getting it on other platforms. Um, But yeah, go give it a listen, go find them. I'm super excited for them, and I'm glad that I was able to kind of help them, as they mentioned, like, fully go into it. Because I remember when I was interviewing them, they were asking me, like, oh, how do I do this? How do I go about the podcast and stuff? And now they finally did it, and I'm super excited. So, yeah, go check out Les Talk About It on Podbean. Yeah. (laughs) Um, And now on to more serious notes. Um, the, this is kind of where I want to end the podcast today. Um, just again, providing you guys with as many resources as I can. Um, the world is still in the country and everything is still pretty crazy right now. Um, 
But I, as I mentioned in the last episode, there are many resources you can check out to educate yourself and find ways to help. Um, one thing recently, I will have linked in the description. Oh, I will have linked in the description um, the same website that I had talked about last week. The, um, where is it? The, the Black Lives Matters dot card dot co. I still have that linked in the description of the podcast, but another thing I found, I was actually watching Chris Clemens on YouTube the other day, and he mentioned another website that has a lot of different resources for you as well, and so I decided to look it up, and I think it is another phenomenal resource. It is uh, PB dash resources.com and I'll have that linked in the description and it's just another national resource and education tool and as soon as you go to the opening page it gives you names faces and learning more about the stories so as soon as you open the people that they have information are on Tet Gully Dominique Fells Malaysia Booker I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing these correctly George Floyd, Sandra Bland, Ahmaud Arbery, Eric Garner, Brianna Taylor, Philando Castile, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, Elton Sterling, Oscar Grant, Stefan Clark, Samuel Dubose, Terrence Crutcher, Jamar Clark, and Jordan Davis. All these people have been victims of police brutality. And so this website brings you, you can click on each person and it'll take you straight to an article where you can learn more about um, what happened with that person and how we need to still find justice for them. And so a thing about this, about this website, it was born in the wake of the deaths of Breonna Taylor and George Floyd, but because of that, um, it's clear that the criminal justice system keeps targeting and dem- demonizing black people and so the website was created as an aid to both protesters and people who supported dismantling injustices from home it has given protesters access to safety and legal information and other resources and has given those supporting from home the tools for re-education and policy change and the website itself which i think is absolutely phenomenal was actually created by a girl named alexis williams and she is a ninth teen year old computer science major at new york university i'm sorry 19 girl you are doing great things in life um alexis is this is her little about me alexis is passionate about using her platform to dismantle stereotypes about women in stem and represent minority women in stem as an african-american and latina coder alexis has been using her voice to talk about racial injustices since she was 11 years old and continues to do that with pb resources she has a hope in seeing a fair and just america for all in the future and so yes this website is a great platform for you can find out how to get educated on the different issues on how you can support them and how you can go about making change in a simple way um They hope the website will be able to continue to provide resources for people to understand the impact of different policies and systems on black communities while continuing to uplift and center black voices. They hope to continue to push marginalized groups within the black community to the forefront of the conversation. PB Resources is looking to continue expanding in platform and medium in order to provide an endless stream of resources that help us march forward in the fight for equality and the end of injustice. But yes, I will have that linked in the description so you can check out that website as well and learn more about these people. I actually, um, there are quite a few people on that list that I actually had not heard about yet. So I will be looking into those and seeing what petitions I can sign and how I can go about helping and from the safety of being at home because of coronavirus. Um... But yes, those will be linked as well. Um, Thank you, Chris Clemens, for shouting out them in your last video and, you know, pushing me to that. Um, Another thing I did want to share, um, just because it kind of hits close to home, um, 
my thoughts go out to Vanessa Guillon's family and her friends um, going through all of this. And if you have not heard the story, I'll link a description where you can kind of, I'll link in the description where you can kind of see the timeline of what happened. But Vanessa Guillon is was a soldier stationed in Fort Hood, and she went missing in April, and just recently, within the past week, um, her case finally wasn't solved because it's still a mess but we were able to kind of bring a little bit of closure in regards to like she was found unfortunately not alive um but yeah growing up in the military and being a latina and being a girl and having family in the military this one hits close to home but i do have linked an article where you can kind of see a timeline of what's been going on with that and yeah, just thinking about her thoughts to the family. Um, so yeah, so I'll have that linked as well. You can learn more about that. And then my final thing for this episode, um, you guys, coronavirus is still around. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's not, it's not leaving. I don't see anything happening until like 2021, maybe 2022. As much as I want it to be over already, I know it's not going to be over that quickly. So just be respectful be considerate to the others around you wear a damn mask keep your distance um it's not that hard to wear a mask the proper way i've seen people wearing masks in a ways where there's still openings exposed and that's not the purpose the mask is meant to cover your nose and your mouth not just your mouth not just your nose um if you like it doesn't harm it doesn't harm you it keeps everyone safe you may not be sick but you could be asymptomatic or if someone else is sick around you and they're not wearing a mask you're protecting yourself by wearing a mask there's just a lot of things i've been seeing everything about people protesting not being not wanting to wear a mask and right now in texas the governor finally required it to wear a mask and it took him very long to get to that point but it's not that hard to put a piece of mask on your to put <laughs> it's not that hard to wear a mask and you can definitely do it And yes, Texas heat affects it a lot, but if you're wearing a mask and you need to take a break, just step away from people, take your break, put your mask back, put your mask back on when you're going to people. Just don't forget, there is still a pandemic. (laughs) The world is going to shit right now. There's still a pandemic. There's still injustices. Um, We're slowly making changes. And then (sighs) go vote. I know I think I said Corona was going to be the final thing I talk about, but honestly, go vote as well. Um, Right now, the Texas runoff, the primary runoff elections are going on. Um, The official election day is July 14th. Right now is early voting. Go vote. If you're not registered, register to vote. I will have the link to see if you're registered to vote in Bear County in the description. If you are listening and you don't live in Bear County... Look up your government's website, see if you're registered, Um, but go vote. We need change. Voting will help change things, hopefully, Uh, but research. I researched the other day to know who I was voting for and kind of see where where they stand on issues, and I made my decision by researching, but yes, go vote, make a change. Early voting is happening right now in Texas. Again, the election is July 14th. For the runoffs and this is essentially the final thing to happen before the november elections this election this election right now is going to help fill those final spots in the november in the november ballot so yeah they were already postponed because they were supposed to be in may because of corona and now they're happening go vote that's that's literally literally my final notes to you get educated Learn what's going on in the world if you are completely oblivious to what's happening in the world and in our country specifically. Wear a damn mask and vote. That's that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, yeah, vote. Send me your questions. Go listen to my friend's podcast. Everything I mentioned that has a link will be linked in the description. I, that's, yeah. I will talk to y'all on the next one. Hopefully, the next one will be kind of back to interviewing people, hopefully. If not, it'll just be my amazing self again. Uh, But anyways, yes. Listen wherever you want to listen. 
check me out on my other platforms. Um, wear a mask and vote. Okay, I will talk to you all in the next one. <laughs> Bye.